everybody, it's Amber from Seasonal Living, and today I'm gonna to show you our homeschool space. So as you can see, we are in our dining room. Our pantry's over there, the kitchen is behind me, and we sit at our dining room table. So over here, we have our cart that has our work boxes in them, and I will go a little bit more into detail into those. And then up here, we have a crate with a lot of our resources in them for the year. Um, this year we're doing a Becca and pretty much for everything. Um, and so it's already planned, already kind of organized for you and I just have to put it where it belongs. And then in this red bookcase, this was from Target. Um, it's just, again, more resources. Uh, books that we're not necessarily using and our little caddy with our supplies in it, the pink one over there from Michael's. And then we have um, our number blocks that we count, you know, how many days we're in. And then behind that, if you can see it, is our flashcards. Um, down here is my planning binder, the teal one, and then the pink one is for summertime. And then, like I said, over here is some books that we're not quite using yet. Um, up top, we have this little pail, and inside of it I have what's called a break pass. So my daughter can use this um, once. She can use this once um, each class. And it says this break pass must be used one time or may be used one time per class if needed. You must one, ask for a break and two, come back in five minutes. We have our calendar, which it is not June, it is October and just a little decor and then our change. Um, our decor, it's just simple. The two end pieces, the chalkboard and the corkboard, I believe were from Target in the dollar spot a couple years ago. And then the middle piece and the top one are both from Hobby Lobby, best place ever. The fall, I think was from Kirkland's, possibly. <laughs> And then on the other side of the room, we still have this Calyx cube uh, that we just house a lot of books, a lot of manipulatives. I believe this is science, math, reading and writing, and social studies over there. And then down here is more just like home office pictures and stuff. So these are our, some of our books. These are um, seasonal books over here. These are Christmas. I have the fall books out. I'll show you where I put those. So next to the rolling cart is our art cabinet, this white cabinet here. I've shown it in other videos. Um, and we have a chalkboard over here that we use pretty frequently. Again, don't mind any messes you may see. <laughs> so anyways, inside of here is all of our art supplies. Um, I'll probably do another video on that. And up here we just have our seasonal books that I pull out, you know, a couple each day. I got this from Bed Bath & Beyond and I specifically got this one because it could fit these uh, bins from Michaels in perfectly and I really liked using them together. So just on the bottom we have our catechism, our religion um, books that we use. In the middle, that was more for when we were doing school in the summertime. Um, we had to do quite a bit over the summer to catch up, but we did it. And so I don't really use that much for anything right now. And then the top is all of our morning basket stuff. And I just love having everything in a rolling cart because we can do it in the living room, we can do it at the table, wherever we feel like doing it for that day. So I'll just go around. And I will go into another video on what we're doing for our morning basket. That is pretty much it for our homeschool room this year. Um, I really like to keep it simple. I've gotten rid of so much stuff, although it still looks like quite a bit of stuff. Um, and I hope you found something helpful and I'll see you next time.